Welcome to another edition of Wildlife Sounds from the Forest. Again, we have Dr. Matt Springer with us and he is an Assistant Extension Professor of Wildlife Management. And thank you for being on the show again today. Good morning, glad to be here. So what's the new sound of the week? <laughs> All right, well, we'll see. I, I, I was tell, as I was telling you earlier before we started recording this, this was driving me nuts this weekend. Uh, but uh, if you're out in the woods, especially right now, or potentially in your backyard, you may be hearing this sound quite a bit. So let's, uh, I'm gonna share my screen here okay. and we will see. So let's listen to our clip. Any guesses? Is that Chip or Dale? Ah, now you're <laughs> giving it away. So since she gave that clue, might as well go right to our actual answer. So Renee, you are correct. It's the Eastern Chipmunk. Good. So, um, um, are they everywhere? Since they're Eastern, what does that mean exactly? Well, so they, their range extends uh, down through the Appalachian Mountains, um, up Northeast, Northern part of the country into Canada. Um, we have, um, basically there's two chipmunk species in North America. Now there's a bunch of ground squirrel species, uh, but this is our only chipmunk species we have in Kentucky. Uh, these guys are relatively small. Uh, most folks will see them. I mean, when I was in Lexington, I had them uh, running through my backyard almost on a, a basically every five minutes, one was running across my patio. Yeah, they uh, so scurry a lot. <laughs> they, they scurry quite a bit. They're really common. When they're around, they're really common. Um, they're rodent, so they're, they uh, reproduce pretty quickly. Uh, and actually, they, they can live up to five years, uh, but most don't live past a year. They're, they're pretty low on the, the food chain. Um, so how many babies do they have? You said they reproduce. So, so they'll have anywhere from three to five uh, babies in a litter, um, usually in the spring. And there, there's possibility for multiple litters in a year mm -hmm. uh, for mom, uh, depending on food availability, health, and you know, weather, those kind of things. And, and the further south you go, the more the chance you have of having multiple litters in a year. Um, but these guys are uh, definitely ones that can cause problems in, in, oh. for us in landscaping. Uh, they are burrowers, so they create their own tunnel systems, mostly to avoid predation. And that sound we heard is actually the sound that they use to alert other chipmunks of a potential ground predator or a hawk, mm. uh, owl. Um, so these guys are on the menu for all of the above, um, mm. unfortunately for them. Um, and, you know, snakes are also a big predator for them uh, and will actually go into their burrows after them. Um, whereas the other ones are um, not able to necessarily go after them into the burrows. Coyotes may actually try to dig or foxes dig out their mm -hmm. burrows to see if they can get down to it, but their burrow network is pretty intensive uh, and um, they'll actually store some of their food in it uh, for the winter or they'll cache it in other places uh, in their territory. Do they hibernate? They do. So they go into a torpor. Um, so similar to squirrels and many of our other small mammals, uh, these guys will go into a couple weeks worth of sleep and then they'll wake up um, and look for some food that they have cash, consume it, and then go back to sleep. So it, it kind of the weather when they wake up kind of dictates how long they may stay awake. So if it's really cold, uh, they may go right back into sleep after eating a little bit. Uh, but if it's a nice, you know, if we, we get those little spurts of, of warmer weather, they may stay out and active because they can find enough food to keep their metabolism going and stay warm. Uh, but in northern areas in Canada, these guys are known to dig through upwards of over a meter of snow to get out and active uh, okay. when they wake up. So that's a that's pretty interesting. Uh, and, you know, what's the difference between digging through ground and snow, really? Yeah. I guess snow would actually be easier. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> colder, maybe. No colder, gloves on definitely those colder. Yeah. So what do they eat? So these guys eat a lot of um, mast, so soft and hard mast, right? So acorns, uh, berries, mm -hmm. uh, fruits. Um, so if they have uh, access to uh, your apple tree, they will definitely eat some of your apples um, for sure. Uh, other seeds from smaller uh, plants, um, you know, many of our pollinator mixes, they'll consume, you know, coneflower seeds and, and so uh, sunflower seeds. 
um, and the sunflower species, not necessarily the one that we consume, but the smaller native varieties, they'll consume those seeds. Uh, mushrooms, they'll actually eat bird eggs if they find them, uh, earthworms. So they, they have a pretty diverse diet uh, representative of, you know, a lot of things that are found on the ground. Right. Are they good climbers like squirrels are? They can climb. They choose to be on the ground more than they do climb, but they are capable at climbing. Uh, I had them run across my roof before, so oh. that one definitely reassured that check mark of, <laughs> there of being you go. able to get places. Um, and then these guys are pretty territorial as well. Um, so those burrow systems, they'll they'll defend them uh, from other animals. And, and generally, their their territory tolerance for invaders is based on food availability. So if it's a good mast year. Mm -hmm. They'd be much more tolerant of someone coming in and taking an acorn from that territory than say a poor year when food is limited, they're going to be much more defensive of that. And that sound that we heard is, is one that you may actually hear when they're, they're yelling at their neighbor. Well, that makes sense. Anything else we need to know about chipmunks? Not that I can think of. I, that's more than I uh, generally knew about them for <laughs> quite a while. So. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. No problem, Renee. Glad to be here.